I have learned in my life the value of men. Men as intercessors. Men as financial partners. Men, do you know that goodwill is as powerful as prophecy? Goodwill. That someone speaks good and leaves a good word. I don't know this person but he's a good man. Whatever assistance you can provide for him, that literally can turn the tides. If you think goodwill does not work, live long enough on earth. Under bad luck and bad will. Bad luck starts from bad will. Demons look for words and they partner with the word and program negative climates over people. The wife of Herod came and met him and said, I had a dream. This man is a good man. I don't know him, but be careful. Be careful. Something tells me this is a good man. And the guy did not listen. One man ordained by God sent by God to hold your hand in ministry, to hold your hand in business. Not everybody is a con person. Not everybody is a deceiver. Believers lend this. It is part of God's system. When he says, give us this day our daily bread, it also means, please bring the men ordained by yourself to my destiny. The men to help my expansion. The men to sustain my relevance. Bring them. And one by one, from one state, one region, one nation, they keep coming. And you will wonder why they seem to ignore others and focus on you. They were sent. Go to Zarephath. I have commanded, commanded. The woman did not sound like she was commanded. It was a spiritual reality. I have softened her heart for your sake. May you meet a man that God has touched for your sake. Touched for your sake. In this message you're about to listen to, Apostle Joshua Solomon helps us to discern why we have certain kind of men in our lives. There are some people in our lives that they are there, but you do not know why they are there, and they are very focused in your life. Apostle Solomon helps us to discern and understand why we have certain kind of men in our lives. Be blessed as you listen. Human resources. First Chronicles chapter 12 and verse 1. First Chronicles chapter 12 and verse 1. Human resources. Now these are they that came to David to Ziklag. While he was yet, well he yet kept himself close because of Saul the son of Kish. Read with me Koinonia, the last sentence. And they were among the mighty men, helpers of the war. Helpers of the war. You are as fortunate as the men who believe you. You are as fortunate as the men who are willing to stand with you until God's vision upon your life comes to fruition. You are as fortunate when you are praying and saying, Lord, show me mercy and favor. Don't just pray for money. The money is in the hands of men. The money is not in the bank. The bank only keeps it for men. You are as fortunate, I tell you sincerely, as the men, not the amount in your account, the men that are willing, willing to stand with you, willing to stand with you, willing to drive that vision. In ancient times, the excellency of the might of a king was first men before the treasures. Men, men, in the multitude of men is a king's honor. The Lord gave the word, but great, great was the company of them that published it. Let me tell you the truth. In the business of kingdom advance, number is an advantage. Yes, sir, it is. It is. It is. When God wants to help a man, in addition to giving you the gift of himself, he puts upon the heart of men those who are touched touched enough to stand with you touched enough to partner with you touched enough to pour out their resources their time their energy hmm. the heaven of heavens belong to the lord but ladies and gentlemen the earth he had given to the sons of men i've told you if god says yes and men say no 
your yes remains in the realm of the spirit. It is always the spirit and the bride that says come. It is the spirit and the bride. There are many of you, God has said yes from time immemorial. But the human vessel to come into partnership with prophecy has not come. Either by demonic obstructions or by the, the, the low level of your ignorance. In the name of Jesus tonight, may things change. Your destiny accelerates at the pace and the speed with which helpers arrive. It is true. It is true. Today, by the grace of God, we have been marvelously helped of God. Yes, the presence is there. Yes, the power is there. Yes, the privilege of wisdom is there. But I can tell you, every vision is driven upon the strength of man. Even the ark is carried upon the shoulder of priests. The ark is God's presence. But it takes man to carry it to where it needs to go to. Hallelujah. Man. Organizations, you need men. Pastors pray for men. Quality men. I'm not just talking about members. I'm talking about people mandated to be part of your destiny. I have taught you this. When you surround yourself with an audience that does not have value for what you carry, you will be trivialized even though gifted. When God wants to help a man, he changes your audience. He puts you before men and women who have an appreciation for the investment of God upon your life. Are we together now? Yes, sir. Woe betides a gifted man who stands in the presence of those who do not have the discernment over what you carry. They can turn a king to become a prisoner. Potiphar stood before Joseph, not knowing that would be his prime minister. Lost an opportunity to establish a great relationship. Potiphar's wife came with her own trouble, sent him to the prison. But when he stood before the king, the king said, this is what I'm looking for. Joseph, it is only in ranking that I'll be higher than you. But as far as administration and operation is concerned, Egypt is yours. Do with it as you please. Men, I have learned in my life the value of men. Men as intercessors. Men as financial partners. Men, do you know that goodwill is as powerful as prophecy? Goodwill. That someone speaks good and leaves a good word. I don't know this person, but he's a good man. Whatever assistance you can provide for him, that literally can turn the tides. If you think goodwill does not work, live long enough on earth. Under bad luck and bad will. Bad luck starts from bad will. Demons look for words and they partner with the word and program negative climates over people. The wife of Herod came and met him and said, I had a dream. This man is a good man. I don't know him, but be careful. Be careful. Something tells me this is a good man. And the guy did not listen. One man ordained by God, sent by God to hold your hand in ministry, to hold your hand in business. Not everybody is a con person not everybody is a deceiver believers learn this it is part of god's system when he says give us this day our daily bread it also means please bring the men ordained by yourself to my destiny the men to help my expansion the men to sustain my relevance bring them and one by one from one state one region one nation they keep coming and you will wonder why they seem to ignore others and focus on you they were sent go to Zarephath I have commanded commanded the woman did not sound like she was commanded it was a spiritual reality I have softened her heart for your sake may you meet a man that God has touched for your sake touched for your sake Apostle, but this visa issue, uh, I can't meet my wife uh, because I'm in Nigeria. She's been, uh, the thing is difficult. I submit to you. It's only as difficult as the man who is absent in your life. The day you meet a sent person, someone was giving me a very, you know, humbling testimony when I returned yesterday at the airport. And he said, one thing led to the other. He was trusting God. I think he was to get a U.S. visa or so somewhere and you know he tried tried it was not working and this was someone who was working in a place where it shouldn't be difficult 
and he said while he was doing his work at the airport as a senior you know uniform man suddenly one of the consulars just arrived in nigeria and he helped the person and he just felt like telling the person sorry could you help me over my issue and the man said really he said okay call this number send a text and that was it everything is as hard as who is absent everything is as hard as who is absent hard as who is absent hard as who is absent There are times that the person holding the key to a store comes late and every hungry person stands there. Have you desired to buy something from a shop, maybe a small shop, and the person to open it, even the owner does not know that the person he put there has not arrived. And you are standing, you want to quickly buy bread for your children. And yet the boy woke up late and he's punishing you because he woke up late. And sometimes you get angry and say, why this is seven o'clock, you should be open by now. And he says, I'm sorry, I slept late. His lateness affected you. What if you come and meet him early? You will go early. Was it not the delay of the bridegroom that turned the virgins to foolish and wise? If the bridegroom came early, all of them would simply be called virgins. Because one person delayed in arrival. There are times that simply because something happens, maybe a pilot arrives at the airport late. It can affect not only that very aircraft, all other flights that day will be affected. I pray for you. This thing called speed. May you enjoy it in this season. Honestly, from the depth of my heart, I pray for you. Not just that God will bring men, that he will bring them on time. On time. On time. Help us on time. Lift us on time. In the name of Jesus. Please be seated. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Give us this day. Give us this day. When Jesus came, as the Bible records, from birth, he had not solved anybody's problem financially. So it's not about value. Wise men heard that a baby was born. They didn't even wait to verify whether he was productive or not. They came bringing gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The Bible doesn't tell us what Jesus did with it. But we know from that day, he didn't beg again. Use your brain and tell me what you would do as a baby. With gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Those were expensive resources. I remember, I think it was John G. Lake who was giving his story. When God sent him to Spokane. As he was there on the line. That there were people who were already sent to wait there. And they kept asking, are you John Lake? Are you John Lake? And they said, the Lord asked us. He told us you were coming. Give us this day. That before you arrive a city, your helpers are get there before you. And they say, we've been searching. The Lord told us that an orphan is going to come to this land. Hallelujah. Something, something happened a few weeks here. Please sit down. Let me just share it. Something happened a few weeks here that touched me. I was praying preparing for service maybe about a month ago i was praying preparing for service and i saw a vision of two young ladies and the lord told me that i'm going to meet ladies as i'm counseling they are orphans he said i should help them and put a scholarship program for them i was praying i came to church finished coin on finished counseling while i was praying then i just see these two ladies standing before me and i was smiling they didn't even know that for their sake only god knows the prayer they were praying in their rooms I'm just sharing this with you. I'm sure they are even in church here. Two young girls. One from one of these neighboring states. And I looked at them. And without hesitation. Without hesitation. Your helpers know they were sent to you. You don't need to manipulate them to give you money. You don't need to money. They know they are sent. They will tell you. I came to your church. I came to stand by you. It was God who sent me. Why does it look like you are without help? You have not received your daily bread. There is a grace that can compel men. Men to help you. I've seen this in ministry. Ah, I can tell you stories. Stories that will sound like arrogance. The help of men. 
somebody holding you somebody advocating for your rising someone insisting that life treats you fairly for some of you this is the part of your daily bread you do not have you have wisdom you've contended for presence but you are grossly lacking in the ministry of men everything you do in your life you do alone no quality men your contacts are full of troublemakers you need god to show you mercy tonight one person one again i refer you to the story of that brother in debt at what point would he have started paying that debt i told you answer to prayers is men dependent men dependent men dependent a major part of answered prayer is because of men apostle i'm praying for promotion no it's men dependent what you call promotion today is a reality on somebody's table now apostle i want someone to release my money but i cannot meet some there is everybody respects somebody even satan everybody respects someone and when god wants to help you he will make the person they respect to speak to them on your behalf everybody respects someone everybody the most stubborn the most hardened even if they say over my dead body in my only two capacity as a man of god there are people because of the honor they have for me i can speak to them please on my honor help so 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 and so apostle if it's for you anything is done that's it in one minute a man's prayer and fasting can be answered because of a man i'm praying for you again in the name of jesus christ who died and rose again the human resources that must come to your life quality men gatekeepers holders of keys i pray for you may you encounter them this week may you encounter them this week may you encounter them this week may you encounter some this night in the name of jesus christ sit down please sit down i am not sure just help those under the anointing i am not sure there is any major season in my life where a man did not partner with god to make it happen for me this is the mystery of ease what are you looking for that men cannot be used by god to do visa travels a job a good word is that you've not met the you've not met the right people it is not every man that can give you every answer that's why not everybody could bring joseph out of the pit it had to be the king it had to be the king had to be the king man of god let me give you a prayer point go back home and pray that small work can grow you don't have to compromise you don't have to do a lot of things and manipulate people just go on your knees and cry god when you sent me you also sent helpers the assignment has arrived but the helpers have not come bring them speedily to protect my integrity hallelujah let me tell you this don't take advantage of men but i will tell you this when you find the men sent to you you will be flattered by their level of loyalty and commitment not the one you called not the one you begged not the one you manipulated not the ones who are transactional men sent by god that they know that my standing with you is my assignment whether in intercession whether financially there are people i got to know who pray for me every day every day without fail is their assignment till they see the lord and i met them it, it, they, they were not it wasn't even their business whether they meet me is their commitment like their assignment without fail they are more prayerful than even me that god called lord you will not fail open doors all they need to know is what ministry project is on ground now they distribute that prayer request among themselves open fire day night and some of us just cruise on the wings of genuine intercession hallelujah i have a dear friend of mine and he was telling me that every time he has a great meeting that's how they have a group of people who pray for him 
I said, my brother is like that for everybody who God called and knows how to attract helpers. Are we together? That a helper can come and call you and you say, I'm in a meeting, say, I will wait. I just wanted to know, have you eaten today? You say, why are you so concerned? How about your children? What school are they going to? I hear that you have a program in Lagos. Do you have a house to stay there? Please, there's one of my friends. Some, do you need any help at the airport? Um, I hear your child is relocating. There is a scholarship program. Um, I have a slot. Can I give your child? And you are wondering why this? Help us. Numbers 1-5. Let me draw me to your head again. These are the names of the men that shall stand with you. These are the names of the men that shall stand with you. Joshua Selman, there are names, there are names like you have submitted names. They will stand with you. This is not just for a man of God. Anybody on the business of kingdom advance, there is a roll call. And tonight may God make that roll call. There are people for your sake. John, where are you? Why have you not helped this pastor? That billionaire man, where are you? I, I told you from January that you will help build a church for a man of God. This is a man of God. Give him all your support. And the man says, yes, sir. And he comes to meet you. I am on a mandate to help you. And you say, no, 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 no. I don't want manipulation. He said, look, I'm a man of integrity. I was sent by God. Where will I get the land? Don't worry. My friend is the director of lands. Where will I get the construction? This is what I'm doing. Where will I get the architects? Don't worry. My younger brother is an architect. Come on now. Everything you need. This is what the Bible means when it says, And God is able to make all grace. All grace. Everything required. You want to step into a place to do ministry. As soon as you step in there, your first prayer, your keyboard is comes, your drummer comes, are we together? Your worshippers, they all come as if they were dragged with a rope. Oh, we are here. Why are you here? Well, we just felt to come and join the prayer meeting. And he said, okay, you take 10 minutes prayer. You sing praise and worship. And the lady raises that prayer, that, that song. And he said, I found my music director. I found the head of prayer. I found the drummer. And someone will say, is it that? How did you gather them? No, you don't have the power to call them. They are brought they are brought, they are brought, they are brought. Learn this, they are brought. Man of God, you can't gather members. Nobody has the power to gather members. They are brought. There is no skill that is enough to gather members. Human beings are not animals. They are brought in honor to these things. Ta -da 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 -da. standing issue around your life that requires a man to step in I cry to the God of Sabaoth this night in the name of Jesus while you are asleep may God wake men and position men to see to it that those requests are answered speedily in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I think I've given this story here many times the former Amy and Zaria who died, please sit down, is dead now. One time a gentleman wanted to go to one of the institutions and because of the height requirement, they told him it was too short. And then his parents now led him and they went to the Amia and they said they could not admit that boy because he was too short. And then I was told that the Amia wrote that they should tell the commandant that he's added the height of the boy. 
come on added the height do you know what that means if you are interested in remaining there the height of this boy has been added by the leverage of men I know someone today who is a graduate he didn't score up to the cut off point far below the cut off point and it's not corruption the teachers had the lecturers had a slot the people they have a slot of who they can bring just drag the boy and kept him comfortably let me see who fights you you can fight me in the office but when i'm in my house and that's how that boy just enjoyed and rode through like that there is something called the leverage of men the leverage of men who is understanding what i'm saying now when jesus was born watch this he paid the price to grow in wisdom statue of favor luke 252 and the bible says the holy ghost representing the presence of god rested upon him remember matthew chapter 4 chapter 3 and then when you get to chapter 4 the bible says he was led of the spirit to be tempted of the devil as soon as jesus came out guess who he looked for men men filled with the holy spirit filled with wisdom but he knew that if he was to achieve this goal he needed men you would think he would ignore men because he had the holy spirit he had power he started calling them john come peter come andrew come whatever it is come and they made his job easy forget about all the troubles that happened within the system eventually he was able to leave to heaven knowing that the assignment will not fail because of the power of men let me tell you this no matter how wealthy you are if you do not have men you are poor no matter how wealthy you are if you do not have men you are poor we believe you were blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages we celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.